Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today's video is a little different from what I normally uh, film, but I was really excited about this purchase. Um, last year I purchased a Christian Dior saddle bag and I just wanted to talk about this bag because I am so in love with this bag. I canceled a lot of vacations last year and I'm not gonna lie, I compensated by buying this very very expensive handbag um yeah i i'm totally obsessed with this bag and yeah i just wanted to talk to you guys about this handbag and what fits and just basically a review and if you're considering purchasing this bag um what i think about this bag and you know just my thoughts and uh overall opinion about this handbag because i'm pretty sure you guys have seen it everywhere on social media yeah it's pretty trendy um though i don't like to call it trendy because i do consider this bag to be a classic and i'll get to that in a little bit when i first saw the saddlebag i was not into it i did not like this the design i thought it was weird i don't know what came over me but when i went to the mall and there's a dior boutique in there, and i went inside the dior uh boutique and i tried it on I checked it out it was with the same strap and everything um, I tried it on and I completely fell in love with it I honestly I think it's because of the strap I know it's something so small and overlooked but I think this strap just changes the whole look when I tried it on in the store I didn't buy it that same day I kept thinking about it and I wasn't sure if I wanted it because I've always wanted the Lady Dior so yeah eventually i ended up buying this bag like a couple of <laughs> days later i went back and i bought it now it is a really interesting bag um because it doesn't hold a lot and it is such a weird shape so if you're somebody who likes to hold a lot of things or your makeup bag or more than one cell phone i don't think this bag is gonna work for you um so i'm just gonna show you guys what i'm able to fit in here because it's Quite honestly, not a lot. By the way, I forgot to mention, the strap comes separately. The strap retails for $1,100, which is quite a lot for a strap. So if you're into Dior and you plan on buying more than one Dior bag, I recommend the strap. You can use the strap on other handbags. It doesn't even have to be a Dior. Like on another handbag, maybe one that doesn't have like a label or a brand or anything like that. I mean, it's $1,100. You kind of want to get your money's worth. So, there's lint everywhere. <laughs> there's like lint on my face. There's a magnet here that holds the flap and it's a pretty strong magnet. It's really strong. I like that. So I'm just going to open it. <laughs> and I'm, I'm actually going to take out everything that I have in here just so I can show you guys what I can fit. I did think about getting the mini, but it didn't make sense for me to get the mini because it is just ridiculously small and... I don't even think my cell phone will fit in the mini. <laughs> so I decided to get the medium. And and I don't even carry a lot. The interior is a suede interior and it's the same color. It's black inside as well. There's not a lot of room in here. The back also has like a slit right here. The interior is also suede, which feels really nice. This bag is honestly just looks. It's not so much for holding a lot of things. A lot of people have been asking if this bag is considered a classic. Now, the saddlebag was created, I want to say, by John Galliano when he was with Dior. I want to say late 90s, early 2000s. I don't remember the exact year. And then it just went into extinction until, I want to say, three, four years ago. It came back. In, in the Maria Grazia, Grazia Chiri. I hope I'm saying her name right. She uh, pretty much revamped the saddlebag and brought it back to life. So in terms of it being a classic, I think it's a classic because it is iconic. Like nobody else has made a bag this shape. And it's just, it screams Dior like immediately when you see it. It's like, that's a Dior bag. So <laughs> I think it's a classic, not just because of the iconic look, but it was brought back and that to me just seems like it's gonna be here for a while um it was created like over 20 years ago i decided to get the black one because i just love black it goes with all my outfits i was really tempted to get the oblique pattern one but 
I don't know, I was afraid it might clash with some of my outfits. Now, when I attach the strap, the guitar strap, it does feel and look awkward because of the handle here. Um, it just, it's so stiff that it will always be upright like that. And you can't put it down. <laughs> so it's always going to be there when you attach the guitar strap. Um, just wanted to let you guys know because I know some people don't like that. I don't really mind that it sticks up. I'm okay with it. I'm just gonna start putting stuff inside. I'm gonna show you what I can fit. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna put my leather wallet. So I'm gonna put that here, put it on this side. I have to Tetris this. I'm gonna get my Chanel compact and put it in there right next to the wallet. So this is what it looks like inside. Next, I'm going to put my Ray-Ban sunglasses in here. So I'm pretty much just stacking. Do you guys see that? There is a zipper compartment in the back. I'm going to open that up and I'm just going to put my sunscreen and I'm going to put one lip color and a lip balm. Next, I'm going to get my hand cream. I'm going to put it in here. I'm just going to put it up here. It's basically like Tetris. I'm going to put it upright. That way I save more space. My hand sanitizer in here on this side so i like to put the smaller things on this side because it's a little uh shorter here and finally my airpods right here on this corner and that's it and you're probably wondering where are you gonna put your cell phone so i like to put my cell phone back here and it actually fits now i don't know about the bigger phone sizes and might not fit only because the edges are a little tight like right here on the sides so th my phone fits perfectly i have the iphone 12 uh, pro this is everything that i put in my saddlebag um now for those of you who like to pack a uh, makeup bag in your purse this is probably going to be an issue because i I mean, I, you guys saw what I put in there. It's not a lot. It's just something to consider if you're interested in buying this bag. Uh, you, you won't be able to carry a lot with you. Do I think this bag is worth it? I think it's worth it, obviously, because if it wasn't worth it, honestly, guys, I wouldn't have dropped this much money on this bag. I rarely ever buy expensive things like this, so I think this bag is worth it because, like I said, it's iconic. It's beautiful. The leather is amazing. I got the, the the grain leather on this bag is just beautiful. I love that it has like a kind of like a matte look. It's not overly shiny and it's so durable. I can see this lasting my entire life <laughs> if I take good care of it. Now, I do take good care of it. I put it away in its original packaging uh, box and its tissue so it holds its shape and yeah um this is an amazing bag uh, so if you're considering purchasing it i do recommend getting the medium just because you can fit more things in the bag um for like a few hundred dollars more just suggestion if it's within your budget and you want to splurge just get the bigger one uh, thank you guys for watching this video if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button uh, like and share with your friends and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.